Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today I have some super cute card ideas and a fun little stamping technique that I wanna share with you. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have three different card ideas that I wanna share with you that feature the new snail mail suite from Stampin' Up. So the cards feature the Snailed It stamp set from Stampin' Up, so it has some adorable little images in it. And it also features the use of some of the dies from the Snail die set. And to add a little bit of texture to my cards, I am using the Stitched with Whimsy die set. So this set is not part of the Snail Mail Suite, so I thought it worked really well with the snail set since it kind of matches some of the designs in the pattern paper. Okay, so before we get into making the cards, I just want to talk a little bit about the stamping technique that I want to share with you today. So as you can see, I have this little postage stamp here and it's colored in two different colors. So if you're wondering how I did that, well, I'm going to show you right now. So I'm gonna be using some Stampin' Write markers. So these are water-based markers, much like the ink in the ink pads that we use. So I'm gonna be using these markers to actually color the different parts of my stamp before I actually stamp it. So it's a great way to add a variety of colors to your stamps before you stamp them on your project. So I'm just gonna go around and color the different parts of the stamp. So, so I'm using the brush side of this marker just to kind of go along here and add some color to different parts of this image. So right now I am using Bermuda Bay. And so these markers work really nice when you wanna add a variety of different colors to your image. Now I'm just going to be using real red so you can see that it has a brush side and it has like a ballpoint pen type side. So we wanna use the brush side. And so now I'm gonna add some red here on different parts of this image. Now you can add as many colors as you want. I'm just gonna use two. Um, but if you have a larger image or an image that you wanna add more than two colors to, you certainly can do that. All right, then we'll just stamp that. And you can continue this process. So if I wanted to continue using the same colors, I can just kind of go around again. And I don't have to clean off the image unless of course I'm using different colors, then, then of course you do. But you can just go around again and just color in all of the spots. So we'll do that quick here. And you don't have to be perfect about it. Just kind of run your marker over all of the different raised images here. And then we'll go ahead and stamp that again. There you go. <laughs> all right, so now I'm just going to use a little postage stamp punch here and we're just gonna punch these out and then we will use them on our card. All right, so I think we're ready to make our first card. So this is the first card that I'm gonna show you how to make. It's really simple, it's quick and simple design that you can really use with any supplies that you have on hand. So we're going to start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of our card. So you can see I have this fun, whimsy design that I embossed right into the card front. So I just used one of these dies, just laid it on here and ran it through my embossing machine. And then it gave this nice little texture to my card front. Next, you're gonna cut a two by four inch piece of designer paper. So I am using some of the pattern paper from the Snail Mail Designer Series Paper Pack. Then you wanna cut a half inch by three inch piece of designer paper. So I just chose the heart pattern. It coordinated really nicely with this one. 
And then you want to adhere that off to the left of this piece here. And then we can go ahead and add our little stamped image. So I already showed you how to create this image. So I'm just popping it up with some dimensionals. Now I'm going to add one of the little snail images to my card. So I'm just going to pop this up. It's, I have a little dimensional underneath there. So I did not stamp that particular image. One of the cool things about the designer paper is that you can use the dies to actually cut out these images. So I just laid this on the image on the designer paper, ran it through my embossing machine, and that's how I got the image for this particular card. So pretty cute. I love when Stampin' Up! does that. And then next we're just gonna add a little bit of twine here. So I'm just using the Blushing Bride twine. You can use the white or the Blushing Bride. It comes in a combo pack. So either one will work. And then for the finishing touch, we're just gonna add some champagne rhinestones. So these rhinestones just work really well with this particular suite. Okay, so there you go. How adorable is this card? And then of course you can decorate the inside. So I just added a little bit of designer paper on the inside and you can stamp a message or handwrite a message on the inside of your card. All right, super cute. Okay, card number two is another quick and simple design. This time I used that whimsy die kind of in the background here on a smaller piece of white cardstock. So let me show you how to make this one. So you're going to start again with a piece of white cardstock for the base of your card. And this time I cut a five and a quarter by four inch piece of one of the pattern papers from the Snail Mail Designer Series Paper Pack. So I'm just gonna adhere that to my card front. Next, I cut a two by five and a quarter inch piece of one of the other patterns. And then I just snipped the end into a little banner. And so I'm gonna adhere that kind of off center here towards the left side of the card front. Next, I cut a two by three and a half inch piece of white cardstock. And then I just used one of the whimsy dies, just kind of laid that right in the center. I ran it through the embossing machine and and I ended up with this really cool design. What I'm gonna do is just kind of dress this up a little bit and I'm gonna add a little piece of red cardstock. So what I did is I took a one, this, is, this was a one inch by three and a half inch piece of real red cardstock and I tore it in half. And I'm just gonna add this piece to the left side of this white cardstock that has my cute little whimsy die on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it to my card front. And now we can add our little greeting. So this is one of those greetings that I created with that stamping technique that I shared. And then we'll also add another one of those little snail images that I cut from the designer paper. And again, we'll add a bit of twine. So this is just two pieces of twine tied together to create a little bow. And then for the finishing touch, we'll just add a couple little champagne rhinestones just to kind of dress this up. Isn't that cute? It's just super cute. Okay, and then on the inside, again, you can do a little bit of decorating. So you can add some torn paper, some pattern paper, I used some of the little mushroom images. So just some cute ways to decorate the inside of the card. Okay, and this last card idea, again, just features that fun little image that I showed you how to create, how to, you know, do that coloring with your markers. And this is a pretty simple design, so let me show you how to create it. So you're going to start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of your card. And then you're gonna cut four pieces of designer paper. So I'm using this pattern and this blue pattern here. And each of these pieces are two by two inches. And so we're gonna adhere these directly to our card front. And we're gonna adhere them side by side. So I'm just adhering the top pieces first. And then you can go ahead and adhere the bottom pieces. So you can just line them up 
So it's nice if you put the top pieces on first, then you can just line these pieces up with the top pieces to create your little pattern. So you can use all different patterns, or in this case, I just used two different patterns. Next, I took a piece of Blushing Bride cardstock, and this was a one and a half by four inch piece of cardstock, and I tore it in half. So I just wanna give you a little tip here. So I added this fun little whimsy die cut here on the bottom, and all I really did is I took my large, the largest whimsy die, and I just laid it across my cardstock piece so that it hung off each edge. And then that's how I created that fun little look right across that cardstock piece. So I thought it, thought it just kind of added a little bit to the card. And then of course, for our finishing touch, we'll add our little greeting in the center. And then we'll add that little snail image down on the bottom. Now this particular snail image I had to cut out by hand with my scissors. Uh, there is not a die to cut this particular one out, but it's pretty easy to cut out. Okay, and then the inside, again, I just added a little bit of designer paper, some leftover scraps to the inside. So super cute and lots of fun. Okay, so there you go. Now you have some super cute card ideas and a fun way to use your markers to color different parts of your stamps. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the card shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.